Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to show you some MAME running. Now, first up, I am using the MAME for All, which uses ROM set 0.37B5. There are other MAME versions built into Raspberry Pi. Um, you just need to place the different ROM sets in the corresponding ROM folder. So I'm using MAME for All. And uh, there's also IRI MAME for All, which uses the same uh, 0.37B5 ROM set. And there's, there's just a bunch of... Uh, when you're running MAME, you need to know which ROM set your game is from and which emulator runs that ROM set. So, like as of right now, I I like to run my arcade um, side-scrolling punch-em-up games. So, usually most of them are set for the um, 0.37B5 ROM set. But this is the Raspberry Pi 3 and I just wanted to show you the performance. This comes in stock clocked at 1.2 gigahertz on a quad core 64 bit processor. It also has one gigabyte of RAM. It has built in Bluetooth and built in Wi-Fi. I am using my wired Xbox 360 controller. Um, right now I've tried to pair a few Bluetooth controllers but nothing shows up. So I'm not sure if it's integrated within the retro Pi or emulation station right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Start out with the Punisher. Now I have set up my controller already within MAME. When you open up MAME, if you hit tab, you can go in and set up your input controller. Uh, you can set up frames per second and everything. So when you open it up, you need a keyboard connected and you just hit tab and you go right here to input controller and you scroll on down to where you need to be. So I just um, set up player one start and that's my L3 button. You just press down on the left analog stick and then my coin button is you press down on the right analog stick. Now I set this up myself so I could have an insert coin button and a player one start button. We go ahead and back out of here and we'll go ahead and insert a coin. I just put two coins in and we're going to press start and we're going to use the Punisher here. As you can see, everything works well. When I was younger, I went to a place called Aladdin's Castle, and I remember they had this game. They had this and X-Men Children of the Atom, which were two of my most favorite games growing up on the arcade system. I had dumped so many quarters into this game. Missed my gun point. And I forgot I had my grenades, but... There we go. Alright, so you can see that this works great. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here, and I'm going to start up another ROM. We're gonna press start and select. Actually, start and select doesn't work with MAME. I have to hit escape on. on all the other emulators for this. Start and select on your controller works to back you out back to the emulation station front end. Um, with MAME, you have to hit escape on the keyboard. So let's go for the Simpsons here.
And I'll just use Marge because I'm set up with the one player start controller button. Now you can map this to any um, player. So if you got a four player game, you can map this controller to be uh, number three, let's say. And then you can choose, because uh, most of these games had a set stick for a set character, so. And this runs great, so. All right, now I'm going to go to my all-time favorite um, MAME ROM. I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard. And that ROM is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I just love this game so much. So with this game here, you can choose which character you'd like. Uh, you don't have to be on a certain set stick here, so. Hannah D. We'll just fast forward this. I will uh, make a setup video as soon as I can. Um, I just wanted to see the performance of all this before I started making uh, tutorial videos. Ooh, I need some salad. Shotgun to the face. There we go. Sweet. All right, guys. So you can see this runs good. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape here. And like I said, that was MAME for All for the Raspberry Pi 3. If you got any questions, concerns, or comments, leave them in the uh, comment section down below or send me a private message. If you have any requests or anything, do the same. Um, if you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers, the more likes I get, the more it motivates me to make more videos and tutorials. So I really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned.